Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm here with some... Uh, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. That's not the right way of saying it. Phoenix Wright, <laughs> the Ace Attorney Trilogy, there you go. I don't know why I read it and I was like going, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Trilogy, <laughs> in my head. Anyway, um, so I go to work, um, for the next two days, and I accidentally used all my gotcha stamina in a way that I can't do anything. Except for Jagelia, because I have infinite stamina there. But anyway, so for the next two days, it's just going to be Ace Attorney. And then after that, we'll go back to the gotcha stuff. And hopefully, if you like this, hey, leave a like. And if you're not into it, hey, gotchas will return in two days. But for now, let's get into it. Uh, this is... Play this game. Yeah, Ace Attorney. Original. Episode 1, the first turnabout. Yep, you got it. With Mr. Butts. Uh... Man. Oh wow, I got an achievement. Also, this is the, the Steam version, which is why you can see my um my mouse here. Actually, let me turn that off. Oh god, you're bleeding all over my floor. Damn it, why me? I ask that all the time. I can't get caught. Not like this. I gotta find you look like someone who murdered someone. Never trust a man in a purple suit, except for Wario. I'll make it look like he did it. Alright. August 3rd, 9.47am, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Alright, I'll be right back. Actually, no, I changed my mind. Keeping the, <laughs> Keep the mouse. And I'll just put it off screen like this. Boy, am I nervous. Right? Hello. Oh, hi, Chief. Ooh, I'm glad it made it in time. This is like some insanely- I'm not used to seeing this much definition in Phoenix Wright because I'm used to the DS versions. I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? Oops, I accidentally said too much. You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yep. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. Aren't you like my boss? I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. I was about to say something completely different from the word die. It sounds like he wants to die. <laughs> um, yeah. Look at the high definition in Mr. Butts' eyes here. That's some, some good work there. Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. That face, not some, eh, you know, I'm kind of here or there for the face. Give me the death that I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I'm finished. I didn't read the last word. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Is this like an early 2000s version of Simpin? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. You took my baby away. Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? Newspapers say it was you. Dun 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 dun. My name is Phoenix, right? Hello, Phoenix. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's what I'm going to do. Alright, Phoenix. It's weird that we haven't seen any, like, look at Phoenix right yet. Is it? It's been like years since I played Phoenix Wright. Whoa! I played enough Phoenix Wright to know that this looks like too detailed. 
court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. His name is Payne. There he is. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to assert your, rea your readiness. Your galactic readiness. Gulp. Hand shaking. Arms quaking. Eyesight fading. The test will consist of you some plans to answer them clearly and consistently. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Larry Butts. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll be fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's wait. Uh-oh. No, no way, I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? Mia's chest is just ridiculous, by the way. It's a lot of definition in those boobs. You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, I don't like the look of your disgustedness at me. Of course I know the victim's name. I just forgot, temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. It's not the only thing that's coming on. Whoa, look at the victim's name listed in the court record. Press tab. Oh, this is the part where I get my icon. Keyboard. Attorney name. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Cindy's autopsy report. All right. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. All right. Putting the keyboard down there. Cinder book. Oh, shit. Um, I didn't see the last name. This is some bullshit. Where is the... There it is. Cindy Stone. Cinder Block is a pretty good name, though. Cindy Stone. The victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Tell me what was the cause of death. She died because she was hit with a blunt object. Struck once with a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem very much relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. You don't look relaxed, Phoenix. Well then, first a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wright just told us the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. See, so the court accepts it into evidence. Now I have a thinker. Right? Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. You got it, dude. Let me check. Let me check this thinker. Where are you, thinker? It's really heavy. Can I profile the thinker? Not profile the thinker. What's the point of you? Gamble. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call the first witness. The prosecution calls Mr. Butts. What do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You get a chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. You just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Look at this guy. Mm -hmm. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo, Juliet, Cleopatra, Mark Anthony. That's all people who died. <laughs> they all died. I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me, ever. What to tell you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just- damn. 
She just returned from overseas with one of them the day of the world murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court. Indeed, she preserved her trip the day before her. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but it did not have a large income. It's weird that she had sh several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. We can go and see what kind of woman this missed out. Wow, what an asshole. She's fucking dead, dude. What do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. I had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof. Wince. Dude, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she died? <laughs> I'm gonna die as well. Just gonna drop dead. Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna go to the bottom of the I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay. Shall we? I believe the accused mother is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Go. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. What do I do? I mean... He has to answer, huh? Wait, I know the right way in the moment. Can I save? I cannot save. I can save. Save. Back. Back. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him answering, honestly. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Er, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. Uh. I was not used to that high quality objection from pain. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before the making, making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder... On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers in the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Saw It to the stand. Oh, Phoenix Ray is a fucking funny game. How can you trust this dude? This dude looks like that new fox Pokemon in Pokemon Sword and Shield. There's nothing trustworthy about him. He also looks like the happy um, mask salesman from Majora's Mask. Mr. Saw It, you sell newspapers. I'm never not gonna laugh at that name. Is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Saw It, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. And then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately, however the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly, it was 1pm. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right there. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. 
Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor. Have a record of the blackout for your pursuit? Hmm. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, sir, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why you expose the lies on the testimony and the witness just gave you? Lies? What? He was... <laughs> the client is innocent, right? Did that witness must have lied in his testimony? Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Prepare it to the witness testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find the contradiction between the court report and the witness testimony. Then, once you found the odd contradiction evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Uh, yes. I can do all that. That's just tutorializing. Cross-examination. Alright. That's enough for today's episode. I think I'll finish this off in the next one. So join me in the, tomorrow for the thrilling conclusion to this episode. Goodbye, everyone.